Hey folks, Quillikeen here, and welcome to Let's Make War Without Iron or Niter, Civilization VI. We're playing as Gorgo here of Greece, and uh, we have been winning, despite the fact that uh, we didn't have the resources. Uh, we'd like to do a bit more, probably, of a infrastructure build-up at this point, which is what we're working on here. Um, I'm having to remind myself, because it's been a couple of days since I've recorded this one. I've been playing mostly Humankind for the last couple of days, and it has been a hoot. But that doesn't mean Civ ain't good neither. Um, we have a crushingly high military strength. The problem is I'm not sure that we can do much with it because the city defenses in Persia are so stonking high right now. Um, maybe just coring up our trebuchets would be enough, which we're going to be able to do in 18 turns with nationalism. Um, and that, that actually may, in fact, be enough. Although I forgot, we do have access to bombards. We've got maybe we can... I don't think there was anyone who would trade us... Um, what am I looking for? Oh, over here. I don't think there was anyone who would trade us Niter. I mean, first of all, you hate me. So mostly it's a question of, do our bros have any? And the answer is yes. You want seven gold per unit of this. This would get pretty expensive pretty fast. It doesn't mean it's not doable, though. Actually, something that might be interesting. He doesn't have incense. Um, We have everything they've got. How much Niter could we get for this? Oh, hello. Yeah, no. What about 45? What about 40? What about 35? What about, thir oops, 32? Excellent. Uh, 33? No, all right, there you go. We found his uh, his limit. Let's get 32 Niter for an incense. That's going to give us another Bombard upgrade, I think. I don't actually don't remember the math on that, but, I mean, that's that's bound to be useful for us, anyway. Um, if I want to upgrade a Trebuchet, I do have another level 2 one over here. 30 Niter. Now, do we have access to a policy whereby we use half as much resources for upgrades? Yes, Retinue is over here. So, what we could do in 18 turns here, and I'll go shopping for more uh, Niter as the turns go by, is we can pick up Retinues, and I guess we have a professional army now, but yeah, I forgot about Retinues. In fact, I may have, um, I, I, I probably should have switched to it earlier. I don't know when I got access to it or not. Not certain. Um, probably I overspent somewhere where I didn't have to, but still. Let's go ahead to the next turn. I don't think we're going to be killing anything with a musket anytime soon. So we'll just hard research square rigging and certainly um, nationalism as well. Because if we're going to be declaring war, we're going to want nationalism. So um, no reason to wait for that to get the CB. Uh, let's just do a quick filter. City-states with trade quests. No, there's nothing like that. Um, we do have some alliances, which is nice. I mean, as per usual, you know, I like food and or production. We can send a trader out there. We could... You know what? Maybe I'll go a one less production for more gold, more science, more culture. That seems pretty good to me. Meanwhile, over here in Nosos, um, yeah, these trading domes, I don't I don't think I'm gonna prioritize these trading domes. I think production is more important than gold. I mean, it's two gold right now, more if there's trade routes and stuff going on, but let's just get the mining happening. And I think we're really gonna appreciate that. Um, yeah, what tile are we actually building this in here? Really? Is that really what I meant to do? Or did I goof something up? I was probably like, oh, it's got one. It has no adjacencies over here. Why am I building in here instead of here? Where it'd be adjacent to two, at least two things. I wonder if I had a reason for it or if I just effed it up. Most likely I just effed it up. Oh well, that's good to know. You know, gotta add some extra challenge to the game. That's all it is, you know? Can't can't make it too easy for the AI. <clears throat> yeah. Um yeah, that's a little disappointing. I guess let's get the uh, fishing boats going. Persia's trading with China. This barbarian's been around forever, An if I recall correctly. And lofty column of hey! The thing that shut down all the uh flying for a few days. Is perfectly at night. I five jala jokul. Totally pronounced that correctly. Excellent. Um, 
Boom, 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 boom. Not terribly relevant for us because we're nowhere near it. But that's okay. Um, so, frigates. We'd like to build some. But since Niter is such a hard thing to come by right now, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, let's get a market going here so we can unlock a new trade route. That's going to be very valuable for us. Religious rap battles going on. I don't care about that. Don't have to make any there is little over here. Man has made that approaches any. Movement from bark units is going to be okay, but I think the idea is—I think it's—it's it's leading me somewhere, isn't it? Isn't that what I was queuing up here? Was I just going to industrialization to see that we don't have coal? That might be the case. Someone's already built the Ruhr Valley, so someone's ahead of us there. Um, our tech rate's gotten better, and it is climbing now, but we still have a long way to go before we get every, any everywhere we want to go to. Sparta's currently a little housing capped, so I mean we want to get some districts down pretty soon, but I think right now we're just going to grab it to open that up. And then you, Mr. Builder-Rooney. I mean, actually, it probably makes a lot of sense to build a trading dome here. Because these desert tiles can't be improved that, that, by that many things. Anyway. Okay. Looking good. Mass production is going to be underway. Lots of religiosity going on over here. And these are the pyramids. It would be nice to grab them. I can't remember. The pyramids, do they give our dudes an extra charge? There have been so many pyramids, pyramids through all the different... Um, yeah, plus one. Because um, I, I thought it was like, okay, it gives you free builders, but I think it also gives you this. It was what, Civ 5 was it just to pop you two builders right away and give you like plus one movement. There's, I feel like there's so many variations of the pyramids through all the Civ games that I have a hard time keeping track of what's what. I think I'm going to clear that marsh. Do this. Now, what about China? Do you have... Um, you know what? Let's get let's get the embassy. You're friends with a lot of people, which is interesting. Do you have NIDER? You do. Now, I don't have a luxury resource to offer you. It's slightly more affordable, but I think we'll wait. I was hoping that this would be a second turtle. But it might be our first, which is good, actually, because then it gives us an amenity. Would have been nice to have something to trade, but I guess it's going to be fine. Ephesus over here completes the university, which is great. Its housing is getting a little cap here, so we'll get a granary going on. Oh my god. Like, everyone, everyone wants Argus on their side. Three different religions fighting into this area. We got the Zoroastrianism, the Buddhism, and Eastern, Eastern Orthodoxy. I think, I think it's just the three colors. Just the three colors. Yeah, it's, it's not enough. Um, Olympia. Yeah, you're way over your housing limit right now. So I'm actually not sure you get full value out of this. I'm not sure how it works with a chop. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do instead is I'll leave that there for now. And I'm just going to throw some farms down for some housing. And then we'll probably have to get a uh, granary or something going on in Olympia. But I'm happy that it's getting that up there. Okay, industrialization, we could boost it with two workshops. I think that might end up just being a hard research. Maybe not. Maybe we switch off of industrialization. We partially research it. They're looking to found new territory. I mean, I'm not worried about losing any territory right now. So yeah, we're going to do farming because of the housing bonus. I don't know, do we already have an industrial zone with the workshop? I feel like the answer is no, but I don't know for certain. Right, I forgot. I can no, not that. Um, industrial zone search. Nope. The only one we know about is the one that's under construction over here. It still might be worthwhile. Well, we'll see if we're starting a new one somewhere over here, and I'll farm that up. I mean, ideally, we do want a bunch of industrial zones. Just in general, because it's pretty good. Like, if we started one here... I just built that. But it will get a benefit of two, because we can mine this later. Okay, I'm going to go for it. And yeah, let me switch off industrialization now before I go too far down the road. I mean, Olympia is still going to be housing cap. That's going to have to be okay. You like that I'm copying you? I wonder what it is that I'm copying from Hammy. No, don't, don't close this window on me. Is it Cradle of Civilization? A different kind of districts. And likes others to do the same. Ah, that's it. Okay, so he likes my district variety. Or maybe I he doesn't have more unique districts than I do. Could be something like that. 
we do a chop over here or lumber mill or something? I think what I'm going to do, though, is go and help boost Corinth. Um, we are going to switch out of serfdom soon because we're not building builders right now. Now, one of the questions is going to be, are we going to war as soon as nationalism comes in? Change your policy so we can upgrade more units more efficiently. Oh, hey, bro. That's nice. Everyone's got niter. Yeah, and I don't have duplicate luxuries. I wonder if I can maybe trade, like... Could I... 30 niter in exchange for, like... 30 horses... That's a lot of gold per turn. 30 iron... No, the, the iron literally didn't change the price at all. I could offer him a great work. Eh... Hopefully with retinues, it's going to be enough. We'll be able to upgrade two Bombards. Which is actually... We really need to upgrade three Bombards, don't we? Because what we... Um, because effectively, it's two cores. Right? That's four units total. We already have one, so we need three others. It is 30, so it's going to be 15 with the policy. So what we need is we need exactly 13 more Niter. Okay, hold on. First, what would it take? Four gold per turn. If I throw in 30 horses, does it even get cheaper? Six gold per turn, but less up front. And I don't think you cared about this at all. Oh, you would... Yeah, well, you took that that way, of course. Yeah, that doesn't change it one bit. What if I offer you some votes, buddy? Ah, you would accept this deal. I gotta remember that votes can be sold for a lot. And 10 flat gold. There we go. 30 horses, 25 diplo votes, and then 10 money. One shot deal. Which will bring us to 45 niter. Unless I've math wrong. Nope, there we go. Good. So we'll be able to upgrade three more trebuchets to bombards. Um, and then merge them to the cores. Because I think that the price is the same. If we merge these first... I think then it's going to be 60 as a base. I think. We'll, we'll try it first. I'll, um, I'll merge them and then see what the upgrade is on that. So I'm expecting it'll be 30 to upgrade the Treb core to, the, to a Bombard core. But no matter what, I'm going to have to go and... Um, I guess we should put these guys adjacent. Actually, we need to go there. I might have gotten confused as to what unit was what kind a while ago. Same thing there. We'll be ready to go. Market is complete. I could go right into an armory. Hmm. Oh, we could build another um, trader and also a spy. Although you do have a military building over here. I feel like I was just looking and we have an odd number of something somewhere. I have this trebuchet as well. I guess, yeah, I'll move out. This is going to break... I'm actually happy I remember this. This is going to break our... Um, are like bonus amenities or whatever we've got going on, but we need these guys to be ready to go to the front for the war. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? I think actually in this city, I'm going to go straight to an armory. Okay, some denouncements going on. Suzerain status lost on Semerkin. If you're with a bank, 100. Now, Semerkin, is that one of the ones. Suzerain bonus. Trading domes, yeah. So I don't really care that much. We do have three envoys. I don't see any of them belonging to Persia, which is great. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to get Suzerain on our side before things kick off. And Leventa's just behind as well, right? Let's do this. We'll get both of these on our side before things kick off. I think that's going to be very good. I don't foresee any stronger industrial zones in the long term. Uh, hold on. That's a hill. That's a hill. If I build it here, I at least get a, a two adjacency. 
that's flat and that's going to be lumber milled because we want to keep the um, we want to keep the rainforest adjacency so if I do put it here which isn't a very productive tile right now it will get a double adjacency later on Jeez, it's going to take so long to get there I think maybe I should just hard research industrialism I guess I still could you know what I will we'll just reveal coal before we go any further and then we do get the plus one production from mines as well yeah all right you finish the campus the thing is your housing does kind of suck here although even a granary won't give us room for housing so you know what just go through and do the library it's gonna have to be okay i think we pre-started the harbor over here and that was fine your housing start can, gonna be an issue soon enough so we'll start with the granary that's going to be groovy men at arms are gonna move down here you're gonna wait here and we do have professional army for half gold price but we need to save materials as well Um, I don't want to go and do the sea improvement right now, because the Barbarian might be kind of a punk about it. So yeah, in hindsight, I should have just finished industrialization immediately, since I wasn't going to be getting the boost in time. I mean, this is going to be our first industrial zone. We still have to build the workshop as well. Kara wants that. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's going to go through regardless, so... But I don't think we're going to be sending any aid ourselves. But yeah, the AI, like, pretty much always goes through with this. Okay, two more turns. Uh, I was going to say, you're still on move, so you should be able to move this one. Get the moo cows. Yeah, two more turns, things are going to kick off, like, huge. Like huge. Monty and China. Yeah, well, let's get those back for sure, especially since we have trade routes going that way. I think Monty, we... Oh, um, well, honestly, if we can get a joint declaration on Persia, that might be good, but no. Let's go for um, uh, Research Alliance. We want the extra research. And then with China, and we do have a bunch of trade routes going to you, I'm going to go Cultural. China's clearly good buddy-buddy with someone else, because one of their alliances has been used up that way. At least one. The other one that was grayed out is because it was, you know, consumed by me already, but they could also have it with someone. I mean, I guess I could check real quick, right? So they're allied with Babylon. That's it. They're, they're friendly with people. They don't have a declared friendship, but they are friendly with a lot of people. Good for you, China. Thank you for the highest score. Uh, how am Oh, um... You know what? Sure. Because you're friends with China. We've got a nice little, like, circle of love happening. Maybe we'll find ourselves in a war against a third party and we'll appreciate the bonus. It is nationalism which engenders nations. Okay. Well, we're clearly making some changes over here. We don't need retainers because we're not using that very much. We'll keep running a political army. The other thing we're going to run right now is retinue, so our upgrades are cheap. Um, natural philosophy is still probably the best thing to have in our economic policy slot. And this little bank in here is probably the best thing to have in the diplomatic policy slot. Although Merchant Confederation is also pretty sexy. Uh, and Machiavellian can do some stuff. I don't need serfdom. I do need to run professional army right now. Aesthetics is an interesting question mark. Now, I still don't have a great general, so we might want to do that just so that we have one out there. We could get a lot of uh, engineer points doing this, that's true. We don't have a ton of money. I think I'm going to use this last slot for Merchant Confederation, just for pure gigantic gold injection. Um, the aesthetics is also pretty nice, but I think that's going to be okay. We are going to be starting war pretty quickly, so we could consider something militaristic like national identity. First of all, um, we do get plus one combat strength for each of these policies we have slotted. And that is pretty good for warfare. You know what? I'll drop Strategos. I I think I need the money. We're going to run that. Looks like we've got a governor upgrade as well. Do I want to promote Vicky? He's already got the double tap over here. I think we're fine. Ping, we could get Grant for great people, but we... Uh, well, it would help. We don't have that much great people generation as is. I think my idea was to grab a Mani, wasn't it? I feel like I discussed this. 
because we are going to go and sticker in a city state. Um, we could use it to overturn if um, Persia does something. Right now he doesn't. Oh, Laventa. Uh, someone is competing with us over there. So we'll put you in Laventa because that'll be an extra plus two. So you'll be back on our side again. And I think that's going to be very convenient. We've already got the boost to Scorched Earth. We're not terribly concerned with what it brings us. Um, where the hell is Scorched Earth? Let me over here. It is on the route to mobilization, which is interesting to consider, and might be what we want to beeline kind of regardless. In fact, I think that is very much the answer. The so mobilization gets us armies, which is huge. Absolutely huge. All right, housing's good. We've got basic walls. You're about to grow some more. I might want to do the trader and or spy production over here. Um, Great Lighthouse isn't that valuable. Colossus is pretty nice, though. Trader at capacity. Hmm. Actually. I think I like the idea of attempting a Colossus. Let's do this. I would like to buy a trader because we do have an extra slot right now, but we have to spend the money on upgrades. So we have to do that first. So. Right. Um. What we're going to do is we're going to promote this guy, because he has no experience currently. It does indeed cost 15 Niter, which is good. And then we're going to merge you with him. Now, these guys, what I'm going to do... I think it's going to come out to the same. Um, I guess... Yeah, either way, I won't be able to promote both and merge them on this turn. So, we'll merge you first. But yeah, I, I think it comes out to exactly the same, so it doesn't matter what order I do that in. Do we want to go straight into the workshop? I mean, there's no Eureka to get from it anymore. Um, your housing is going to be an issue soon-ish. So let's just go for the granary right now. Um, whereas you have not a lot going on. Just go ahead to the shipyard, because we'll appreciate you having the extra food in production. That's going to be important. Now, down here in the front, I guess you're going to... And yeah, we've got a little bit more nitrous. We have to use it on... We need bombards. Mobilization boost. Huzzah! You two. Um, and then these two will merge together. These two will merge together. Cool. We need to take care of this guy at some point so I can go and improve the sea resources. But I guess for now we'll just do that. You'll move here and merge with him. So we need we have one unpaired trebuchet. Oh no, that's a core. Never mind. Right. It's just that we don't have um we don't have the niter. Well, okay, hold on. I do have a little bit more niter. Oh yeah, because it's gonna be 30. It's gonna be 30 upgrade you, then I'll have none. Let's do another pass and see if we can get some more. Especially if we sell some votes. Because I could use another batch of 30 niter. So first of all, what it would take as is that much gold? If I were to offer you like 50 votes. Yeah, wow. They really value votes a lot. 25 votes and 14 flat gold. All right. That sounds pretty good. Oops. 25. And equal per turn is a little rich there, buddy. What about China? China, you're cool, right? I want another batch of 30 niter. And I offer you 25 voting power. Mm. 40 voting power. 50. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I wonder if Monty's still got some that's a little cheaper. Oh, I'm at the map. Oh, shit. No, because I was buying in 30-point intervals, I didn't overshoot. I don't think it would let you trade for more. But that's going to be quite good, because now we can also upgrade our men at arms. That's really fantastic. 
Okay, we're going to be going to war in a couple of turns. And on that uh, cheery note, I'm going to put a cut in here, folks. But yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. We're going to have Bombard cores uh, with 65 Bombard strength with strength 70-ish walls. Um, and that's looking pretty damn good. Uh, we've got a temple over here. We've got some wonders we're going to be taking. Oh, another one over there. Yeah, we're going to gain a lot of really valuable territories. Probably just these two cities. Ray might be possible. It doesn't actually have any walls. It's sit over here and bombard and then just take it with an amphibious attack. We'd have to take Gordian as well. Um, because if we did not take Gordian, not... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, some of you will get it. <laughs> it's not that funny. Um, if we did not, we might have loyalty issues. Because of Ispahan. I mean, maybe it would be fine. But yeah, that's probably the plan. And I really don't see how Persia is going to stop us from doing that. After that, the problem is going to be the city-state buffer over here. Because we're not going to have our own loyalty to apply more pressure. And honestly, we're bros with these guys and with these guys. So I'm not sure what the next militaristic move is going to be. Other than going west and looping around to Babylon, who we're also bros with. Well, at some point, we have to stop being friends with them. But it's going to be fine. Like, this round of alliances is going to be just perfect. We take the territory from Persia, um, we build up some more, and then probably because there is going to be a delay, we'll have to pull the trigger. Wow, he doesn't have a lot of walls here. Um, I was going to say we'll have to pull the trigger when um, when we get our next round of tech. The big problem is going to be loyalty, and we're going to have to push really fast, really hard to keep moving. Maybe we take Ispahan. Maybe we literally wipe out Persia, or well, at least all the Persia we know about, so we can take this and have some local loyalty so that when we take the next, you know, cities, probably have to still have to go fairly quick, but we could probably stave off some rebellions, especially if we do it while we're in a golden age, or at least a normal era. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.